Here's a simple solar kit off eBay. And if you look carefully, I've wired the two solar panels, black to white, white to black. In other words, the two solar panels are fighting each other because they're wired minus to plus. And then across the middle, the motor's connected as well. Now the idea is, is if the sun shines on one panel, the motor will spin one direction. If the sun shines on the other panel, the motor will spin the other direction. So, what you do, is you imagine these two, imagine these two panels arranged in a triangle. Hang on. There you go. If I go one way, the sun shines on one panel. And if I go the other way, the sun shines on the other panel. That's just two treadmill motors I'm putting on eBay, so I've got them running there on panels it's something else I'm playing with that's the subject of another video but uh, you see that's the two panels are right angles roughly to each other and it's quite sensitive if, if, if I aim that way the motor spins one direction if I aim a little bit the other way the motor spins the other direction See that? And it's simply because I've wired the two solar panels back to back and they're two, they're single cell panels which is just as well because when one panel's in strong sunshine the other one sees its voltage backwards and I think it's with single cell panel it's more reliable that you don't damage them and uh, the nice thing is, is that uh, Oh, a banging, even never mind. Now you can imagine what you do is that motor drives a gearbox. And as the sun moves, the motor drives the gearbox and moves the panel to face the sun and then it stops. Then as the sun moves again, whatever way the panels are, the sun goes in and then it comes out in a different part of the sky excuse the noise so it's easy enough to imagine a gearbox that motor driving a gearbox and that gearbox would wind the whole thing around but uh, as well as having that panel there you might as well probably have another one round here facing towards me and another one on that side facing away so if the sun goes down in the morning and then it comes goes down in the evening and it comes up next morning it's going to come up on the other side of the assembly so you want to make sure it somehow gets light onto that other panel so that it winds itself back around to face the morning again now that motor can buy you be connected to lots and lots of gears to directly steer a solar panel assembly to make a tracker or it can operate switches it click, it holds a switch one way. Let me hold this, you see, so imagine that's a switch. Click, 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 click. And then in the middle there's nothing, the switches undo. Click, 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 nothing. Sun moves around a bit, click. So you can use that motor to operate switches and that would operate a much more powerful motor which just drives directly off the main solar panel still doesn't need to be that big that's actually a more efficient way of doing it and uh, so you have a solar panel uh, tracker and I'll build that into gearing uh, I'll put some gearing on that later in fact I'll tell you what I'll do having demonstrated the principle in the sunshine I'll uh, I'll uh, knock up some better gearing and I'll actually build a miniature solar tracker just to demonstrate the principle. Yeah, works treat that does.